It's Kashai right here. Welcome back to my channel. So I am editing the vlog that you are about to watch and realize that somehow the footage of me actually doing the intro um, is lost. So I wanted to say hi, hello. In this video, you are going to see me assemble both my planner cart as well as the stand for my cry cut machine as well as my laminators. The intro footage <laughs> is also where I show you the box that this planner cart came in and like assembling it, like apparently that's gone. Uh, but you will see me build the uh, planner stand. So this vlog is gonna pick up from the cart being built and me actually storing things in it. Uh, this is a two part vlog series. The second half will be out later this week. The second half will show you a desk. I got a new home office desk that was a lot of drama getting through Wayfair, y'all know. I've learned my lesson. Um, but that's gonna conclude the second half of this around just like reorganizing my planner stuff, getting everything in order. Um, so if you wanna make sure that you don't miss the second half of this vlog, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if you have questions, comment them below. I'm gonna try to put everything in the description box, like the desk, I'm gonna link it to somewhere other than Wayfair though. <laughs> the desk, um, the stand, the cart, the machine, like I'm gonna link all of that stuff. But if there's something you're curious about that's not linked, just ask me in the description box. Okay, let's get into this vlog. <laughs> all right you guys so ignore the amazon box but my cart came out so cute again i got it on amazon it has a little handle and it has wheels it's not too hard to push on the carpet i mean it's like easier to pull it back than pull it forward but I think it's because I have the brakes on at the bottom but anyway this is the other side I already put some of my markers and pins in here that I use in my planner but these little like things like holders these are movable so you can literally take it off put it up higher put it down lower I just kind of put it where they had it in the description and then you have these little hooks um, which you can put wherever you want. I just put them where they had it in an instruction manual, but you know, as I get more comfortable and as acquainted with this cart, I can move it around. So I want to show you guys. So assembly was pretty easy. You'd have to pay attention to the poles because there's four different, so there's two sets of poles and they're like made a little bit different. So that was just one thing, but this didn't take long at all. It was very, very easy. And you just needed an Allen key, which is what, it came with so the first thing I want to put in here is some of my uh, Cricut or cry cut I have to find out how to say it y'all um, supplies in here and then the rest of the the space that I have I'm gonna put some of my planner stuff so let's get into it okay all right y'all you know I got my bonnet on it's nine o'clock at night all right so let me lay it I mean I wear it anytime still okay so Let's do a quick haul. Okay, so listen y'all, let me get in frame. So, I just bought a bunch of stuff <laughs> from the Crooked aisle. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this or how it works yet, but once I get my stand for my machine, I can actually open the crack the machine, which I haven't opened yet, and get it set up, and then I'm gonna have, um, Either this weekend or next weekend, I'm going to actually spend time watching tutorials on YouTube of how to use it with some of the different supplies and actually like following along and making stuff. So anyway, this is the first thing. It's premium vinyl textured metallic and it's gold and it is beautiful just so y'all can see it. And then I also got premium vinyl shimmer and this has a couple colors in it there I see pink I see silver and I see blue so that's that that looks really pretty I don't know what I'm making but I can't wait to make it I do know I want to make some custom dividers with some of this material though and then this is um sport flex iron on and I know that you can use this to like put stuff on shirts. Like she has some stuff on her sports bra. And I got this because um, I want to put my logo for the Power Collective on some shirts. And I like stretchy v-neck style. So I figured that this would actually be good for that. 
So that's that. And then I don't even know if I needed this, y'all. I just bought it. Um, this is the Cricut Infusible Ink Transfer Sheets in the colors is Pattern Leopard. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that, but I'll find out. And then I also bought a white tee. Um, I really don't, I actually don't have any white t-shirts, but I wanted something I could practice on and they had this stuff on sale. So it's a v-neck, um, women's t-shirt. So I got that. And then the last thing... I bought um, is a basic tool set for the machine. I have no clue what you're supposed to do with this stuff. But it says it has a spatula, a scraper, a weeder, scissors, and tweezers. Tweezers. I said tweezers. Tweezers. So that's that. So this is going to be the stuff I put at the top. I know that there's like a better way to organize these, but I honestly like, oh, y'all ain't even to focus. I've seen a lot of people like use um, shoe organizers to store this, but even though I'm excited to get into this, I really don't plan on collecting 27 of these things. First of all, they're expensive and like I, I don't think I'm going to have as much time to like <laughs> get as deep into this. Um, so I don't I don't def I don't foresee me using that. So for right now, because I don't have a ton, I'm going to just lay all this stuff flat. This I'm going to take out of the thing and put it um, probably in here because I have a lot of room. So my utility stand is coming tomorrow. I still have no word on my desk, y'all. It's Wednesday. The expected delivery date was Friday and it hasn't even shipped yet. I reached out just to see if they had an updated delivery date and they were like oh it's gonna ship over the weekend it's wednesday it ain't shit these scissors look super sharp i'm glad they came with like a little case um so yeah y'all i don't know hopefully it comes soon i wonder if it's gonna hang on the little hook oh yeah so you guys let me show you let me bring y'all down some So I have these little hooks on the side and I put this little cricket thing there. And then I do think it's convenient that all of these tools have like a little hole in a handle. So you can just like hang your stuff. That's really convenient. Because none of my other planner stuff has things to hang. Maybe like one of my planner bags I could hang. I don't really know. Well then let me switch this around. This, this is kind of long. Start putting this on the bottom. Put this at the top. Yeah. So I have this stack of vinyl, um, not, well, is it vinyl? It's just like laminating paper, not vinyl. So it's laminating paper, which it might be vinyl. Don't drag me in the comments, y'all, for not knowing. I'm sorry. But this is, I was sent this from a company on Amazon. They sent me a free <laughs> laminating machine and they sent me, I've never shown this. They sent me laminating sheets of like a ton of different sizes. I mean, and then they have letter size in here and they have this long thing. Like I could probably do two half letter um, dashboards in this. So this was something I was sent. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this on the bottom. And then I can put the laminate I actually bought on top of it from my office space. And then they also sent me... Um, this like single hole punch and this corner rounder. So I'm gonna just drop these in the um, little utility basket down here. So let me get y'all together down there. So yeah, so that's how I did it. Okay, so I can just 
throw this away. The other thing I'm gonna put in my cart is my little planner hole punch. I'm gonna put this at the top, even though my Cricut stuff is at the top. I think my Cricut stuff might move to the middle one just because it's still gonna be a bit before I, um, before I use that. But let's see what else I can put in there. So I'm actually gonna put my Happy Planner sticker books um, in the middle shelf. Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to uh, watch some YouTube videos on planner cards to get mine together. But for now, it's functional. So I told y'all I put my stuff up here for the machine and my hole punch. And then here I actually put all of my Happy Planner sticker books and a couple of my other sticker books. These are like Hobby Lobby brand. Um, and I did ask you guys in another video, but feel free to let me know here if you want a tour of like all of the sticker books I have. And this is just old sticker books I've had for years here in the front. Here I have some extra fill paper, um, for one of my notebooks. And then underneath here I have happy planner inserts. So this I pulled out of a planner, um, that I'm using for other stuff. And then I have underneath it some of the filler paper I bought on clearance. So yeah. And then here I just put all my laminate paper <laughs> and I put my vellum in here as well just so it's easier for me to find so and then this is actually a desk pad this is a thin one um not thin but like it's not as wide this is what I use to um I put this on top of my desk when I film my planner videos because my desk is shiny black and sometimes that like picks up a glare when I film so this is what I use now whenever you've seen me do my planner videos lately this is the pink that you see underneath um, and that's really all I put here in the side so before I wrap up this part I wanted to show y'all the laminator machine that I was sent so this is what it looks like it's actually way lighter than my pink one which is heavy so this is what it looks like and it's meant for a ton of different sizes it actually tells you like you know where to put things to be honest I do like my pink one a lot better. This one was more expensive. Granted, I didn't buy it. I was sent it, but I just think the pink one looks better. The plus side, though, is that you have a cutting board at the top. Now, I did try to use this with some stuff that I printed on 32-pound paper, and it did not work that good. Um, so I'm going to have to try it again with something that I laminate because I don't want to judge it. The cutter may just be for things you laminate versus it being a two-in-one but if this cutter was as strong as it should be then this would be like a no-brainer for me to recommend and right now I mean you I can barely move it the jewelry is still out honey um but I was sent it and I don't really want to throw it out so if I find that I'm not in love with it I may just give it away so anyway that's that but y'all know my old faithful back here. We love her. So I want to show you this. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was this post-it organizer. So that's actually not what this is. This is actually a business card stand. You're supposed to display business cards in here. But I am using it as a post-it organizer. It was like 7 bucks on Amazon. So it, this is not all of my post-it notes. But this is some of them. So this is uh, from Fancy Plans. This marble post-it notepad. This one is from Cloth and Paper. This one, I believe, is Cloth and Paper or Fancy Plans. I can't remember which company. This one for sure is Cloth and Paper. I'm going to say that that one was from Fancy Plans because Cloth and Paper normally puts their logo on stuff. Like, they real good about that. So, I'm going to say that one's from Fancy Plans. Yeah. Okay. And then these back two are cloth and paper. So this is their um, circle shape post-it notes. And this is one of their um, transparent post-it notes. This is like the color peach. My lighting isn't that great. Let me turn a, a brighter light on so y'all can see. So yeah. So this is the gray and this is the peach. And then this, this is from the brand Noted by Post-it Note. And I got this at Target. So you, it comes in a three pack and this is really cute and it's post-it brand so it does stick, which is nice. I also have it in gray and it says different things on there. 
I don't think it's focusing. There y'all go. Y'all can see it now. All right, cool. So yeah, that's by the brand Noted, which is by Post-it Note, relatively new. Find it in Target. This is a cloth and paper Post-it Notepad that was a freebie. And then this is two different sets of cloth and paper Post-its. Let me set this down so I can make the camera focus because it's struggling right now. So this was one of the sets. So you get the transparent ones and you get like the matte ones. And then this was another set. So I just ripped them off the paper they come on and just stuff them in here and they fit really good like I didn't have to force it it's just like struggles to go down because it's so sticky so this is a affirmation post-it note I was gifted this in a gift box um, but this is the brand if you are interested and this is what the post-it notes look like so they are truly affirmation post-its there's no space to write on them but I love that they have affirmations so you can use this in your planner or around your office for inspo so um, have that in here have my transparent post-it notes this is from planner press and these are truly like truly transparent and then this post-it notepad is from Fancy Plants. So when the new desk comes, this is going to go on it. But for now, this is just hanging out by my printer. So yeah. So this is the machine. <laughs> um, this is how the box looks. It is very, very heavy. It literally and on the box looks like a printer. But this is, wait, actually, let's actually see how you pronounce this now because I know people are probably tired of me mispronouncing it I'm tired of me mispronouncing it so we're going to go to their YouTube channel let's see Get to the point. In the meantime, let's talk about cricket. Cricket. Okay. It's called cricket. Perfect. Okay. So this is the cricket maker. And obviously, if you know anything about cricket, they have a lot of different types of machines. But my Twitter friends said that the cric the cricket maker is like basically one of the best ones. So anyway, this is the machine. It comes with um, a premium point, a premium fine point blade, a rotary blade, and a fine cut fine point pen. And they have some other images on here for additional tools you can buy. So they are potentially suggesting a knife blade, scoring wheel, washable fabric pen. I don't even know if I need those yet, but we'll see. So this is the box, and I think it's also super cute that on the back. They have a picture of like the machine and they have an iPad sitting on top. Um, so yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and get her opened because the utility cart is out for delivery. Hopefully it actually comes today because UPS is delivering it, even though it's ordered through Amazon. And the last few times UPS delivered something to me, it was marked as delivered, right? The day it was out for delivery. But it didn't actually show up here until the next day. Like, literally. So, alright. So, I want to go ahead and get this open because I'm about to take out a bunch of boxes. And I want to take this down, too. Okay. So, let me actually put this on the floor. So you get first thing is this box that says let's get started and then after that you have the machine oh, this machine is heavy girl this machine is heavy I mean obviously I can carry it but like I wouldn't have to I wouldn't want to have to walk anywhere with that so I'm really glad my cart has wheels because baby all right so I think this is it so also in the box you get um this is the cutting board 
these are cutting boards so this is the light grip board and this is the fabric grip board okay so i do remember seeing those in some of the initial videos i've watched So let's start with the machine in itself. It's a gorgeous machine. So it is secured in plastic wrap. This looks very fancy. like opening it up yet because I don't want to break it. I don't want to mess nothing up because I don't know what I'm doing. This is the power cord for the machine and the cord is actually pretty long which is nice. Make sure y'all can see this. It's actually pretty long and if you're wondering like why you got your workout clothes on it's because I need to work out today. I need to get on my bike today and I have a call in an hour. So after that call, I have an hour break with my next one. So I want to do like at least a 20 to 30 minute ride. So put this on motivation. And um, so that when I wrap up the call, I can just get straight on the bike. Like I won't have to delay since I don't have a ton of time. So anyway, so that's our cord. Now let's open up this Let's Get Started box. So it basically says materials for your first project and in one of the videos I already watched they do tell you that Cricut gives you like little samples um, so that you can like start to play around with it and test it before committing to a project. So I just think the, the material and the packaging for this is really nice. This is really good quality. So we have our two, socks, two sheets here for our first project. I'm going to put these back in here just so I can save it and if you are familiar with the machine you do have to install a software on your computer to use it for the projects okay so we also have a welcome booklet in here and it has some links on the back we have one of the blades I know it comes with one already installed and lifting this up so in here I believe this is the pen pen thing this is the pen thing <laughs> this is the um, rotary blade cap this is the cord to connect the machine to your computer and it is a USB connection so if you have a MacBook like me, make sure you have the Thunderbolt adapter so that you can connect this or the newest MacBook because y'all know it doesn't come with USBs anymore. And then it looks like the rest of this is just additional instruction booklets in different languages. And then the last thing in here is a warranty sheet. So I'm going to leave that there. Now I'm going to actually put these things, like I said, back in here because... When I get ready to start playing with this machine, um, if not today, over the weekend, just put this on the weekend. I want everything in one place.
so yeah that's the box and then it tells you on the front to get started go to cricut.com backslash setup and again And again, I'm really glad the cart that I ordered to hold this has wheels because the fact that obviously it needs to be connected to a computer means that it needs to be close to the computer. So I'm really glad that my cart is functional and can move around for when I'm working on certain projects. So anyway, I'm going to take these boxes down to the trash and I will turn the camera back on once our cart is. Okay, so the cart is here. This is how tall <laughs> the box is. It feels, it's kind of heavy, but not too bad. Getting it in the house wasn't too bad. So, let's put it together. And then, we'll set it up with all of the stuff. These instructions, <laughs> I don't know if you're just focusing for y'all. They definitely leave a lot to the imagination, but I think putting this together, putting this together should be pretty simple. So I'm gonna re readjust y'all so y'all can see better. I gotta get this lighting together. Um, and then we'll go for it. distracted had to stop filming got on the phone did a live okay so now we're back so the cart is basically done um it was really quick putting together so i showed y'all before i put these on here the shelves they just snapped on i'm definitely gonna leave this pole off just because i did put the machine up here just to see how it fit and i definitely just want to leave the back clear getting the wheels in literally took forever y'all it took forever but it's in so this is what the stand looks like i'll link it in the comments if you want it they have a three shelf version as well and it comes in black so this is the stand so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and get it set up against the wall i'm gonna put everything on it and then i'm going to show you guys
here is how it's set up let me first like kind of go out some so you guys can see like the whole wall now it's actually like way more cleaner looking um so anyway so y'all have seen this before in several other videos i got this at michael's it has a bunch of shipping stuff and inventory in it um so yeah so i put my cutting board at the top just because i told you guys before i use this cutting board a lot so i'd need this like easy access i don't want to have to keep pulling it out so then on the cut on the cart i put the cricut maker at the top my pink laminator here i put the other laminator here on top of my small cutting board i really think this is going to end up just getting given away but whatever so put that here and then there's nothing on the bottom shelf actually um i don't know what i'm gonna put there and to be honest with you i'm not really in a hurry to fill it up um if anything i'm thinking maybe some of my other my old planners or planners that i'm not using right now maybe i can find a cute way to store um some of my filler paper um, but I'm just not in a hurry. I might honestly find something else altogether or discover something new. I'm not in a hurry to like clutter it up. And then I put my little cart here. I was going to put it the long way, but where it is like faces front, but it didn't really look right. It just kind of looks awkward. So it being along the wall like that actually works. So I like this too because from this angle, if I want to move it, just to pull it back and I can just push it forward like that. So oops, just put it against the wall. But yeah, it's heavy now because I put all the heavy panels to be in there. But it's cute and it's functional and I can reach everything. This is not going to stay this messy at the top. This is just so I can easily get everything when I set this up for the first time. So yeah, it's all set up. And the noise in the background you hear is my air fryer, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> so update on the desk. So... I reached back out to Wayfair. I normally would have waited, but I was encouraged to reach out <laughs> by friends. It's like, okay. Um, and I did it in my gentle way. And it got back kind of like rude, to be honest with you. But I didn't even say anything. I didn't reply or nothing. I think somebody saw it because they called me. Like, um, when I was putting together the shelf for y'all, I got a call, but I didn't answer it. And I checked the voicemail and it was a follow-up email, which is basically like, oh, it was this lady. And a guy had replied to the email. And she was like, um, you know, want to give you an update on your order. I've been assigned as your case manager, which is crazy because I didn't really elevate a claim. I was just like, what's the new, like, just give me a new timeline. Like, it's fine that it's not here or coming this week. I just feel like y'all keep telling me dates and getting me excited and it's not coming. And like, I just want to know, like, if it's going to take three weeks, just tell me three weeks. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, she was like, well, in the message, she's like, I'm your case manager. I wanted to let you know that we're waiting on the manufacturer to ship it. They have created a tracking number, but it hasn't shipped yet, which is why we haven't sent it to you. I'm going to keep you posted. I'm waiting to hear it back. And I'm like, come on, service. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm a VIP <laughs> or what um but hopefully because i have a, a case manager now a wayfair they're gonna ship this desk so we can go ahead and get the final piece of the pie because it's also giving me a little anxiety because literally when i get this desk because of how it's built i have to take down this wall and probably that wall too or ship stuff down because of how this desk is built when it gets here and it gets built in the next vlog you guys will see now i can't guarantee that the next vlog is going to be the wayfair vlog depending upon how long they take but i'm just saying like you know it's like this weird anxiety anticipation you get when you know you have something like a big thing you need to do but obviously i don't want to take this stuff now prematurely because one ill and two i still need to work you know like i worked from home today i didn't go into the office today so these are obviously like minor things but since y'all are watching my vlog around decorating my office planner space i just wanted to let y'all know so don't drag me in the comments okay i'm just saying <laughs> that this is what the experience is so anyway when the desk arrives we will conclude my how i'm reorganizing my home office to accommodate all of my expensive hobbies and seeing how much money i spend on planner stuff with that i'll talk to you all in the next video make sure you like comment and subscribe bye guys